With the click of a button, ransomware can accidentally be installed on your computer or in the network of a company. A similar situation happened just last month with the hacking of the Colonial Gas Pipeline. As Jamie Tucker shows us, with a single, a single compromised password, all cybersecurity can fail. Want to see what it takes to take over the computer of a multi-billion dollar business? One click in an email. Why would someone click on a link that installs ransomware? Well, look at this email. I received over a dozen of these in my spam folder over the last 24 hours. Now where hackers are creating these fake emails that look like they come from Facebook. The email says someone tried logging into my Facebook account. And to click here to report it or click here to confirm it was me. But hover over the button, which you should always do before clicking a link, and you can see in the lower left-hand corner, it leads to a weird email address. This email announcing a donation for my family includes a text or TXT file. It likely install malware or ransomware on my computer if I clicked it. Ransomware has been around for years, and early on it targeted random people, encrypting their computer and files unless the victim paid a ransom. And over the past year, ransomware targets have been government departments, critical infrastructure, health systems, and more. While these companies and institutions have a lot better security than you have on your computer, they've still been compromised, sometimes by one false click. Another thing you can do, check email on an iPhone or an iPad. Ransomware cannot encrypt the information, the data on those devices. If you're using a computer, get an anti-malware program such as Malwarebytes. And if you're working on your company, computer, never check personal email, Facebook, and never play games on that computer. All it takes is one bad click to bring it all down. That's What the Tech. I'm Jamie Tucker. Ransomware attacks have been on the rise in the past few weeks. As you know, the JBS Meat Processing Company, the Washington, D.C. Police Department, and a major television station group lost control of their network or database. The FBI warns companies that paying the ransom does not guarantee the hackers will release databases.